How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am the OP Leprechaun, and I am starting a new world. Uh, as you can see, we're going to call it Better Late Than Never because, you know, I have not yet started a 1.17 Let's Play. Uh, there's a few reasons for that, uh, mainly because um, my computer decided it was really not happy with uh, trying to record videos. Let's see what we get. I'm in the middle of a spruce tree. <laughs> Actually, there's a fern underneath the spruce tree. All right. So... Let's go around and see what we can find in this general area. So, yeah, reason that I quit making videos. Uh, you remember how I was playing on that wonderful all-in-one that I had? And the one where I could play the game, but I couldn't play the game and record at the same time. Well, yeah, it got to the point where even trying to play the game and record even using my laptop, all the sound got corrupted. I literally couldn't make a video. It was it was pretty discouraging, and it took me a while to start wanting to do this again. Part of it was the fact that I got a new PC, and now I actually have the ability to do some things again. So... We are going to start, like every world does, I'm going to punch some trees, we're going to make a crafting table, and let's go from there, because I did see a sheep, so I can get a bed made. Alright, just take half of them. Okay. Let's make a couple of tools here. I make an axe. We're going to make a pickaxe. And we are going to make a sword. Oh, what the hell? Might as well just make the shovel. Get rid of that one. So, a couple of other things that have changed in recent months is the fact that I am not playing on Bedrock anymore. I am playing on Java. So, I get wonderful, cool things like Optifine. I really, really like Optifine, and it really makes it really nice to play this game. <laughs> All right, where'd that sheep go? Let us find... Oh, there you are. Okay, so we started out. There we go. Okay. Need one more piece of wool. And some more logs, obviously. So, this is a giant spruce biome. I kind of wanted to not be in a spruce biome. I actually really, really wanted to build in a desert. Now, I'd have to go back and look and see. I know in my last Let's Play, I built kind of in a desert. You know, I took over that desert temple. So, I kind of have already built a desert. I'm trying to remember... If you guys actually got to see the video of me building my raid village in the desert and actually doing a pillager raid in that town, uh, I have problems remembering because I think I only uploaded 15 or 16 videos of my last last play. You know how many I actually recorded? 28? 29? Yeah, so much of that never got seen by anybody but me because the audio was so bad and so corrupted that I, I, I literally couldn't let anyone see it. It was so bad. So, okay, we are coming out of that into some planes, so I will probably find some more food here. I hear chickens. All right. Oh, that's, that's, there we go. That's the other thing I'm going to attempt to stop doing is saying all right all the time. Cows. Cows are good. We need some steak. I want to, oh, there's a village. All right, well, I don't need to worry about getting any sheep now because I can get a bed over there. So we are going to take these cows. 
Uh, all right. Got to get the crit with the wooden axe. <laughs> okay. So, playing on Java. That is a thing that has happened. And I'm enjoying it. Uh, there are some differences. Uh, the hitboxes are a little different. Uh, obviously, anyone who's played Java knows all this already, but people who have only played Bedrock. Um, the combat system is a little wonky if you uh, started up playing Bedrock. But it's not too bad once you get used to it. I'm going to get some stone here. Okay. I now have enough to make a furnace. I need to get some more wood because I don't have any coal yet. I'm sure there's going to be some in that cave down there, but I really, really need to get some food prepped. Um, I have actually restarted a couple of times, but as you can see, I am playing on hard. Oh, there's my... Here's my new PC details. So I upgraded to a i7-10700, and I have a 1660 Super for a graphics card. So I now actually have a graphics card that I can play this game and record at the same time on the same PC, and it makes my life so much happier than what I was doing before. It's a lot less struggle. The video quality is way higher. And uh, it just, it, it's a lot easier. I don't have to run my all-in-one and my laptop at the same time. So still working on improving. Uh, definitely need to get some audio stuff figured out because right now my audio is kind of garbage. Uh, but I think that's going to change here with a different mic. And I missed the crit on that one, but not on that one. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Thank you. Okay, so as I was saying, I've actually tried to restart a new world several times here in the past two weeks, and uh, I struggled a little bit. I, I, I forgot that it can be difficult to play while you're speaking. <laughs> you get very distracted, trying to maintain that whole stream of conversation with nobody uh, and make it interesting is, is definitely a challenge. So we're going to start raiding this village. I'm going to steal a bed out of here. I might actually just use this as a temporary... Ooh, hey, some bread. Good. I was going to make some more bread out after I find their hay bales, but now I can just, you know, eat. Okay, so I'm going to grab some taters, because I will at some point want to plant them. I might as well pour out the pumpkin seeds then, too. Okay, so we're going to take that bed and claim it as our own. I already have a crafting table. You know, I might. Uh, let me see if there's any surface coal. There's a lot of exposed stone around here. Okay, let's see if there is any surface coal. Oh, more bread. I'll take it. Do not need the sweet berries. Okay. Came from that way. I'm going to go this way. There, these houses are all, like, identical. What is up with that? So one of the reasons I'm taking the pumpkin seeds is because... Uh, Believe it or not, I have actually learned how to do some different things. Uh, I learned how to make a very, very efficient auto pumpkin or melon farm without spreading it out across an entire uh, area. And I can start doing that. I'm going to do some villager trading in this. Uh, I don't have much food, so I might as well grab that. I swear, every one of these houses is identical. They're all blue bed, crafting table, and a chest. It's kind of weird. Okay. Did I go in this one already? I don't... There's babies everywhere. Baby villagers everywhere. There's another... Okay, this is just kind of a weird village. I'm not going to lie. It's a little odd to have every villager house being exactly the same. I 
I hate you, sweet berries. All right, we're coming up on nighttime here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bed down right there. Set a spawn. All right, and then we will see you when it is daytime. Dang it, I did it again. So I'm going to leave that bed there next to those blast furnaces for now. So that I actually have a respawn point that is not the actual spawn for this world. Uh, that's one thing that I kind of messed up on. Uh, it, it's been a while since I started a world. I actually have not been playing much in 1.17. Of course, you know, everybody, hey, purple bed, something different. What the heck? Why not? So all the people who actually watch my channel at this current moment in time all know that I haven't been playing much on 1.17 because we've all been playing together on a server. <laughs> so, uh, hi guys. <laughs> so we've been playing on a multiplayer server, uh, playing on 1.16.5. And uh, enjoying some limited mods, uh, you know, Tinker's Construct, a couple other good things. Uh, I do enjoy some mods, but, you know, most of the time I just play vanilla. And, other than, like, you know, Optifine and some shaders and things like that. So I've been playing around on a modded world and having fun with that, which is one of the reasons that I switched from Bedrock to Java. Is because, you know, realms is realms. You know, they are what they are, and, you know, sure, they have resource packs that kind of act like mods in Bedrock Realms, but I like being on the server and having the, the mods that we want. It, it, it makes it a lot nicer. But we are not playing on any mods at all. This is just straight up vanilla here in 1.17. And we're just going to kind of take it easy, take it slow, see what we find out. Okay. So we're starting out with quite a bit of food, which is a nice thing. So after I hit all these houses, I see... I thought I saw a cave over here. Where did I see that? Maybe it wasn't a cave. Maybe it was just a little dirt in the world kind of thing. Got some sheep in there, which is fine. All right, I'm going to explore a little bit. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. I did find a cave, and there's lots of mob noises in there. So at this point, I got no armor. So I'm going to try and avoid actually going caving right at first, because that is one way that I repeatedly died, just over and over and over again, was trying to speed things up. You got anything good? Uh, I don't have enough emeralds to do that right away, but I like it. So what I'm probably going to do, oh, there's a stone cutter in here too so he probably has so what i'm probably gonna do is i am going to meander around a little bit i'm gonna mark this area so i know where i am and not get lost i'm gonna go over to where that plains was and make a little entrance area here no, that's still definitely going to have to make this a nicer way to enter this village. That is for sure something we're going to have to do. Because right now, it's it's kind of a pain. Yep. Kind of a pain to get in here. Okay. There we go. Well, uh, there's some sugar cane. I should grab that. Replant it. Because that is something that I cannot start too early. So some of the differences that I've discovered in playing Java and Bedrock is you absolutely are wasting your time playing the way that I used to play. I know I made it a point in my last series to, you know, take it slow. And I'm still going to. I don't like rushing through to stuff. I don't like doing that. What I do enjoy is 
the results of being able to do this stuff a little bit faster and just getting my resources set up the way that is actually beneficial and I can do the things that I want to do, whether I want to build a castle, whether I want to build, I don't have a bucket. Oh uh, yeah, that was kind of a wasted effort. <sighs> That was a supreme wasted effort. I can't, I can't get down from there because I'm too far away from the water. So let's go put that next to the water. And then we'll put a, a pillar marking where I want to come into this village before I take off and go find some coal. Because I am for sure going to come back to that uh, weaponsmith and buy a Smite 2 sharpness sword from him for emeralds. Yeah. To do that, I need some coal, so I can sell him some coal. So, let's do that first. Alright, so we got that marked. And I am going to take a quick screenshot of my coordinates. So that I can find this when I want to. And I'm going to put down a crafting table. And we're going to upgrade a little bit. I'll go get some more stone here. That can just go away. Get some more stone, get a stone axe. And let us move on in life and progress a little bit. Do a little bit of grindy stuff. I'm probably going to go kill some more cows. Maybe not all of them, because I have a feeling... I'm going to be playing in this area for a little while, so it's probably a good idea to get a little bit of a cow farm going. Okay, well, that just means that I absolutely have to go get some more stone. That is... Oop, dang, sweet berries. That is a requirement now. More stone. Oh. Well, if I find some iron, I can do the lava bucket trick to... Make an end portal, or uh, not an end portal, please. Nether portal earlier than getting diamonds, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. All right, I'm going to meander a little bit, and I'm going to look around and see what I can find for places to start mining, and I really need to find some surface coal. What do we have here? Uh, well, there's some iron. Oh, there's some coal. All right, I'm going to put a bed down here. I'm going to sleep through the night. And this is going to be our kind of little mining outpost for this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start by just grabbing some basic stone. I'm not going to make you watch all that. I'll cut to when I have enough. Okay. So... I left my crafting table back there, didn't I? I did. Okay, well, we'll just make another one. Maybe we will move on with life. Look, I didn't make 12. <laughs> we are not going to have a floor made of crafting tables this time around, I swear. I am going to make a furnace. Just because I have a whole bunch of steak that I need to cook up. And there is some surface coal right over here. So we're going to start with a, oh, one piece. Okay, yep. See, that's what I really wanted to avoid. Come out in the sunlight. I really need... I will let the sun do my job for me. There we go. Hey, I got a bone. <laughs> See, this is why I need the coal. Okay, let's put up some torches right there. Oh, I need to eat. See, I am playing on hard, so uh, with zero armor, an arrow to the back of the brain is actually really devastating. <laughs> Yeah, and I've, I've played so long now on having, you know, flipping god armor and all that wonderful stuff that 
doing without is actually really, really difficult. It takes a little bit of getting used to. That's that's for sure. So we need to make a slightly better sword. We don't have much option at this point until I can get that iron down there, which will be happening soon. But don't have that option just yet. What am I making an axe? There we go. I gotta light up that area a little bit better, which means I need more coal in the first place. Because I hear another skeleton. Oh, I oh, and a creeper. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> I am just gonna get mobbed, aren't I? Okay. But you didn't blow up the others. Oh, and there's um, there's all kinds of mobs down here. Okay. Can I get? I don't have any more torches now. Uh, whoop, uh, okay, running away now. Yep. Oh, and I'm going to die. Yep. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> okay, well, one of the good things is I did just set my spawn right there. Come on up. Thank you. Okay. Now, let us see. First, I'm going to make myself a little easier escape. <laughs> Which I should have done in the first place. But I was actually trying to make it difficult for the mobs to get up there. In hind Oh, come on, really? I hear more skeletons. Okay. I'm going to get this coal real quick. So I can back away. All right, let's make a little hole in the earth. Because at the very least, I <laughs> need to make a shield. Because holy crap, am I getting my butt kicked. Let's get the rest of this iron. I'll let you know when I get out of my hole here. All right. I'm gonna make myself a little safe spot here. Okay. Nothing's gonna come at me now from a widow. And I can mine all the rest of this coal so that I can make some iron stuff. All right. It looks like a big pocket. I will come back to you after I mine this whole coal pocket up. And there we go. I'll just get out of here. Let's go smelt some stuff. Because there are a lot of mobs there. <laughs> Here we got some slightly better tools here. Okay, food can hold on just a minute because I do have some bread, but I am going to need a few more torches and I'm gonna need some uh, iron equipment here. All right, and there I go again. So uh, in case anyone is new to my channel, <laughs> As you can tell by the fact that I uh, died to a skeleton, I'm actually really not very good at this game yet. Uh, I, I get better. Uh, it's a, It's been a while since I actually played in vanilla, because I have been playing with my friends, as I said, on a modded server, but um, I am... A gamer dad. That's the whole the whole start of this channel was to have somewhere that people like me could go and not feel quite so horrible about how bad they are at this game. Uh, and hopefully to have someone help me out with, you know, learning how to play this game and, and be better at it. Um, what is that? I heard noise. 
Oh, Enderman. Yep, I don't need to mess with any Enderman with no armor and a stone sword. <laughs> so, uh, I have actually improved quite a bit at this game in, like, normal gameplay since I started doing this. I, I still... I still... There's a lot I don't know. There, There is absolutely a ton about this game that I do not know and do not pretend that I know. Uh... We'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> see if I've improved much over the, the last year and a half, because that's actually how long I've been playing this game. It is November of 2021, and I got this game because my kids wanted to play it, and I had never... I mean, I'd heard of Minecraft before. I mean, obviously. I mean, it was... But, you know, my oldest daughter was born the year that this game came out and i just started playing it last year so there's a lot about this game that i still don't know so i call myself the gamer dad uh and uh hopefully it will let me sleep eventually here <laughs> oh come on it is so dark down in this little spot there we go so i am actually always looking for you know, comments and suggestions and all that kind of stuff to help me out and let me know exactly what it is that I'm doing wrong. I mean, I, I, I know that there's a lot of things I do that are wrong. There's no doubt about that. I'm going to make a little storage chest to free up some inventory space because I am going to go mining because one of my goals by the end of this episode is to have a full set of iron armor. And enough coal to go back and trade with that guy back in the village. And have enough emeralds to pick up a, a fancy schmancy sword from him. So I am going to actually not spend a whole lot of my iron. Uh, I will make a, a, an iron sword. I, I will do that. And an iron axe. I'm going to do those two things. I'm going to save the rest until I can get iron armor because I seem to be really incapable for some reason without dying right now. And it's really unfortunate. And it makes me look really, really bad. You know, I got done talking about how, how much I've improved on this game and, you know, since the last time I made videos. And then you guys watch me get, you know, bossed by a couple of skeletons. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it really, it really helps the, uh, the self-esteem, you know. But moving on, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to turn those into bread so I have a little bit more food handy. And I do have those steak cooking there. So when that's all cooked up, I am going to go do some mining. Well, I almost made a fatal mistake here. I almost forgot the number one thing you need when you are mining. That is a bucket of water. <laughs> I have no idea how I almost forgot that. I am so grateful that I had exactly enough iron to do all that stuff. But now I'm out of iron again. So I know it would be faster to go caving. But I think I'm going to refrain from caving right away. And I'm going to do some... Uber, uber boring strip mining because, you know, everybody loves strip mining. But uh, it is the safest way to get what I need right away. And I need to get iron. I need to get coal. I need, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that I really do need to get. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So, I got a full thing of torches. I got wood. I'm going to make a few more stone tools. Because I am going to mine primarily with stone at first. I have the iron pick just in case I find some things that, you know, you need iron in order to harvest. Uh, I'll probably make one more crafting table to keep in my inventory. And then I have a whole bunch of empty space for stuff. 
So let us move on from here. Now, what I could do is I could go down here. <sighs> All right. I'm going to give it a whirl. Ah, see? Okay, you fall in the hole. Oh, no, you didn't fall in that deep of a hole. All right, time to get out of here. Yep. I am just not prepared yet. <laughs> I just am not. <laughs> All right, I give it one more shot. It just ain't happening yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite direction of all of those mobs. And we're going to go down all. <laughs> all right. I know nobody really needs to see me making a staircase to 11. Because, you know, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. I will come back to you if I find anything interesting. smelts up oh, take my coal back uh i built a little stone box to hide in because while i was waiting for that to smelt uh creepers tried to blow me up three more times uh, i know it ain't pretty <laughs> but that's okay i am trying to simply survive at this point okay so we're gonna do one of those we're gonna get some booties we're just going to give ourselves a whole set of gear. Look, I've learned to craft things. <laughs> I don't just always hit the book anymore. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I did get the advancement. I just didn't see it. Don't have any more stone because I used it all up. So I'm going to need to mine some more stone. I am going to put the iron up there. I just, I don't need to risk losing it. Okay. So our respawn point is good. Let's do that. I'm going to get a little more stone at the outset. I'll come back after I mine all that out. I didn't realize I was completely out. Oh, hey, look. More coal. I need coal. Only a couple pieces. Oh, there's another creeper over there. <laughs> yeah, this is not... Uh, this has been a pretty heavily freaking populated freaking cave, man. Okay, I don't think that there's any way... If they can get up here. You know what? I'm just going to guarantee that. I just do not need a creeper coming and following me down my staircase. I would just... I've already been blowing up that creeper. So let's see. How many times today? Uh, one, two. Trap by Skeleton. So actually, not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, I actually am really kind of embarrassed by how many times I have died <laughs> just in this first episode, because that is, that is not normally how I like to play, but uh, you know what? The evidence is right there. I did. So we're going to move on <laughs> and, and try not to die anymore, but I absolutely want to go see what kind of spawner that was. So that is what we're going to do first. I'm not going to give them easy access to that tunnel. It was right over here. Pretty sure. Yes. Okay. We're going to light this up a little better. I swear I know how to play this game. Okay. 
We're going to light this up a little bit better so I don't get surprised on the back end. Okay, I definitely hear more mobs. All right. So we're going to go like this. Now they can't come through there. I don't know where that one went to. We're just going to stop him in his tracks. Okay. Let's go over here to where I found all that cobblestone. Right there. There has to be a spawner there. There's no other... Unless that's the spot that I filled in with cobble. That very well might be the spot that I filled in with cobble and I just totally jinxed myself. And that, that's not a spawner at all. Any bets? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, see, I did it to myself. Hello. <laughs> Well, okay. Well, there, there, that kind of, that kind of, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I thought I was about to have a spawner on the first episode. Man, that would have been cool. Well, I guess now the new goal is to see what else I missed down here because I thought I was going for a spawner. Oh, more iron. Alright. Oh my goodness, really? Hey, I actually managed to kill one of them. I can do it. Did that one all the way back there blow up? <laughs> that skeleton must have been attacking him like on repeat. Oh, there's another axolotl. Oh, no, I wanted to go up here. Come on. Don't send me down into the dark. Not until I have a chance to put up some torches. Okay. Alright. Don't have any dripstone yet, but that's alright. I can always find some when I need to. I will come get some when it comes time to wanting to set up furnaces and stuff, like long term furnaces, because I am absolutely going to set up a lava generator into a cauldron with the dripstone. I'm sure everybody has seen how to do that now, but uh, that is definitely something that I will be doing. Okay, I have already been down there. Don't need to go there right this second. Okay, I just remembered that I had my uh, brightness turned way, way, way down, and that you guys uh, might not have been able to see anything for a lot of this mining gaming. So... We're going to go ahead and correct that now. <laughs> correct it in post, right? Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. Okay. Didn't catch that one. Hm. Well, I'm back to where I started. Okay. Let's light the... We do got zombies. Ah, see, I can still manage to kill them without dying. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, and it goes into a ravine. A lot of iron. What level am I at? Ooh, glow squid. That's pretty cool. Glow squid, glow squid, uh, and deep slate. Oh, don't know that I am ready to be going down into something like that just yet. You know, ravines are sketchy, sketchy places. Right now, it's not so bad because I'm at the top of one. 
Oh, can I get close enough to place a torch over here? That's a fairly involved ravine from the looks of it. Let's see if I can get a better view somewhere. Hmm. I mean, the iron armor definitely fills me with a little bit more confidence than what I had before. Let's not even pretend that it has nothing to do with it. Okay, there's no water down there. However, there is more coal. Don't quite have a stack of coal, and I am going to be making some more torches, so... Excuse me while I mine all this coal out. <laughs> Especially this early in the game. I need as much of this as you can possibly get. Still kind of working on the disappointment that I, <laughs> I fooled myself into thinking there was a spawner right there, but it was really just that cobble that I placed. That's kind of still a little bit, oh man, about it. Okay, last piece of coal from that pocket, which was actually fairly expansive. And now I hear skeletons. Oh, I should probably put at least a torch down here. And we'll make a few more. Okay. Don't need rail yet. It's a little early for needing the rails. This is back to the ravine. Let's go somewhere else. I just don't think I'm up to snuff on a ravine just yet. Well, this looks dark over here. Haven't been here yet. Oh, another axolotl. I think that one's a different color. Yeah, that's a brown one. Okay, iron. I right, got all that. I'm going to meander over here and see if I can find some... More stuff in this general direction. Well, this was a cave system rather than a mine shaft, but I'm going to go caving. I want to do it lower in the world. All right, light this Betty up. See what we got. I mean, oh. no, this has to be me again. That has to be me. Oh, there's another part to this. Oh, he's loud. Where'd you hide that? Okay, there's got to be another spider spawner down here in the dark. What did I find? Oh, yep, there it is. Enderman. Oh, this thing goes on for miles. Okay. All right, I'm going to mine out what I see here. And I'm going to work my way back over to that mine shaft and see what's in that new section of the mine shaft I did not look at. Okay. This is a huge mine shaft. Like, Flipping huge. And I hear a ton more skeletons somewhere. I know it doesn't look like I'm in a mine shaft, but I'm actually right above it. I was trying to come at it from a sneaky point of view, but it didn't happen. Because I really don't want to go in that ravine. All right. Last coal. Uh, I don't need messing with any diet. Okay. Well, let us see. You know what surprises me so far in this mine shaft is we have not found one chest. Not one. 
And that's pretty rare, honestly. We'll find it. Be that way. I'm back up here to where there was more directions to go. Yeah, I know I'm running by some coal and iron. I just... Okay, that's where I came in. All right, what's down here? Okay, enchanted bow, didn't get it. Would have been nice. Okay, I need to find somewhere to heal up real quick. So sort a of feeling that I'm about to get inundated with mobs. There's a lot of mobs around me. I can hear them. I don't know which direction I want to go. Well, that's where one of the spiders is. Oh, where am I being? How did I get? Where? Is there an invisible freaking spider? Uh, that's enough out of you. Still have no idea where he hit me from. Invisible spiders. I mean, it'd be one thing if there was, you know, like an actual spider. Well, there's an actual spider. Yeah, you can all die now. Oh, yeah, they're going to get me. They are absolutely going to get me. Yeah, so that happened again. All right, after several attempts, my stuff is thoroughly despawned. I have died multiple times trying to get it back. So we are going to go back to my original plan. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm back to punching trees because I don't have any more wood to make more tools. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I consist of at the moment, punching trees again. So I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't died this much in a long, long time. You know, the, the people that I play with on a regular basis are going to watch this video and go, what in the hell is he doing? And my honest answer is, I don't know. I really have no idea what the struggle is, but I, I do know the struggle is uh, a little too real for comfort at the moment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to my little shack over here. Yeah, I hear more skeletons because that's really what I needed to hear. Okay, so I'm going to make up some tools and we'll go from there. Whew. Okay, well, I have made a foolish set of tools. Uh, oh, it's nighttime. And good morning. Let's see how many creepers and everything are hiding down here in this little freaking hollow. Well, first things first, I need to cut down a few more trees and get a little store of wood going again. I need to see if I can find some food because I am completely out of food, I'm completely out of coal. Because I lost literally everything. Oh, come on, really? Seriously? 
what in the world is going on? Oh. Okay, don't mind me. I'm going to get some trees. i use the birch for fuel. I need to get some food cooked up. All right, I'm going to harvest a bunch of trees, probably kill a bunch more pigs, and I'll come back with you. Aha! So I wasn't seeing things from off in the distance. This really is a giant spruce biome with all of its pods all and stuff. I wonder if there's another village around here. There is... Oh, it's an abandoned one. Well... Okay, well, we're going to go over here. We're going to scope out this abandoned village. Again, completely taking us away from what my stated goals are, but what am I going to do? Just ignore all of this. Uh, hi. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Huh? I am so glad that I came over here. What in the world? This world has some weird villages and chests. I mean, this is just, that's too good to be true. All those iron tools. Hi, kitty. All right, well, I actually almost have enough to get my... My Uber, uh, you know, I'm going to take a few of these chests so I can stop making them. What do we have going? This was a big village. What's in here? More food. That's good, because I actually really need some of that right now. Well... I know where I'm coming from, Mossy Cobble, when I want to start building. Okay. And that's just a random size one. Wow. Yeah, I hear you. I do. Pretty much just gonna take all of this. There's really not a reason not to. I'm gonna grab a spare bed just because I can. I'm gonna go kill myself a zombie villager. Yeah, out of the way, fool. I know, I know, I could have saved him and gotten the bonus and la da 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 but I actually don't know that I'm going to stay in this area. I'm pretty much going to see... Ah, don't know yet. Play it by ear, not make any decisions. Just going to keep going through here and see what else I find. More pumpkin pie... Take those with and set up my own. Oh, I hate those things. See cows. And wheat. Might as well replant. No reason not to. It's just pretty close to my little shack over there, so... That's just the same one, just the other side of it. Well, one thing that will give me is enough string to make a bow. And I honestly think that that he mm, yep, the fox hurting itself over there.
Did I go in everything now? I think I did. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, that was actually quite a bit easier than I thought to get back here. Okay, before I sleep, I am going to go over. Grab the sugar cane, because the sugar cane that I originally grabbed over on the other side of all of this, I'm sure has been growing this whole time. But I haven't been near there. And I'm not harvesting any of it, so I need to do a little bit of preventative care here. People ask me why I don't do a 100 days series. Well, <laughs> here you go, Exhibit A. I die too much, apparently. And I take too long to do any things. 100 Minecraft days would get me almost nowhere. Home, sweet home for now. Let's try not to get blown up by a creeper again. Okay, let's do that. No, oh, take some of those out and make a bow. I don't have many arrows yet, but what the heck, right? <laughs> I don't remember if you get just as much from logs as you do from planks. I straight out don't remember. Yes, I think you do. Well, I will tell you what. Finding that... All that armor in that village was definitely a, uh, a huge bonus. It allowed me to get geared back up. I wonder if Minecraft felt bad for screwing me over. Alright, well, in the meantime, I did craft a bar. I've only got a few arrows, but I got plenty of wood. I need to get some more coal, but I'm using birch wood to cook some food up right now. So I'm going to continue to do that for the moment. I'm all geared up as best as I can be for now. Let's go find some more coal. Um, I, I, I hesitate to go back into that mine shaft. So I think I got all the nearby coal. I don't think there was much left around here. Just need a little bit so I can make some torches, man. Okay. So I think what's going to happen here is I am actually going to say sayonara for now to the mine shaft. And I'm going to go back to my original plan of doing some strip mining. I think that is going to end up being a wiser decision at this current time. Leave myself some little windows, but uh, other than that, I am going to head on down to 11. Blocking this stuff up as I go so that I don't get drop creepered. Uh, I need to find some more coal. So for now, I'm going to keep a torch in my hand because uh, without the fight on, it lets me at least see. <laughs> it might not be perfect. It might not be perfect, but I'll tell you what. It doesn't stop mobs from happening, but at least I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take all the coal and iron that I can get, but I'm just going to keep on moving down. Get down to time. Oh, well, there's some coal right there. Oh, in the dang ravine. Yeah, no. Uh, it, oh, no. No, 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 no. Give me that back. Yeah. See how it's really, really dark? And then, oh, it's in my hand. And now it's not so dark. 
Okay, let's avoid that. Since I have a little bit more iron now, I think I have enough. If I go back up to my shack, I can make a bucket. And that'll make being by that ravine just a little bit safer. And we're going to go from there. Well, hello, Cole. Well, that's very useful. <laughs> I was going to investigate where all these zombie noises are coming from. And hey, there's Cole. That is why I so desperately want that smite sword. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to block you up. I know there's a bunch of iron down there. I just am not. I can't worry about it right now. And now I need to make some more tank torches. <laughs> and do this in a manner that is actually <laughs> sustainable for me. Because <laughs> right now, this ain't it. Hey, torches. Okay. Yep, we're going to avoid that. So I'm kind of thinking this is going to be my mining camp. And that abandoned village we just found that's like seriously like right over here. Hang on, I'll get to the top of the hill. You can't quite see it from here, but it's right over there. Or maybe it's right over there. Those look like the giant spruces. Yes, it's right over there. Just on the other side of this little forest here is that abandoned village. Kind of feeling like that is going to be my new home away from home for a while. So we're going to start out here. We're going to keep on keeping on, get myself a bucket. We're going to do a little bit more mining today. See what we can come up with. I do want to get down to 11. And I want to get a little more mining in, but I think that is going to be the direction this Let's Play starts out at. Was not what I planned on. <laughs> but it's uh, where it's ending up at. So we're going to go with that. And let's go get some more mining done. Okay, another cave of nightmares. Where I'm going to be attacked. Oh, yeah, see? Told you. Flipping told you. <laughs> it's like, come on. Let me be in here for five seconds. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is why ravines are such scary places. Drop creepers are evil, evil things. So we're going to take away the chance of drop creepers. Because uh, I'm just not about it. Oh, ravines are not my friends. Okay. We're down here in deep slate country. Let's just see if we find any diamonds real quick. I'm not holding my breath, and I'm not expecting much, because they did change the way they generate. But it is worth... Well, that's basalt. You know what that means. Okay, plenty of room. Well, hello, Geode.
That's actually a fairly decent sized geode. I love the noises those things make. Well, that just means I really need to get silk touch so I can actually move some of these. Because these ones will all grow crystals. And the more faces of them you open up, the more crystals they will grow. So, I'm not going to harvest much more for right now. I'm going to go like that. And we're going to get rid of this lava right here. So that we actually can harvest. There you go. Okay. Okay. Sorry for loud noises. We need to put up some torches. All right. Try and keep it non spawning in here. What do you think? Are we going to get diamonds on our first episode? Kind of feel like I have to to make up for everything else I messed up. Oh man! Or a spawner. Yeah, I'd take a spawner too, since I, you know, I already thought we had one. Ooh, I hear more amethyst. Okay, nothing in there. Take this coal. That freaked me out. You look right there. I thought that was a skeleton, but it's not. It's just a piece of dye, right? And some more mine shaft. Because, you know, that's what I need is more of that mine shaft. <clears throat> yeah. Or maybe not. <sighs> okay. Well, we're back up here to where we went down in that little hole, I believe. Okay, yeah, that's creepers and zombies. Okay, we can go away now. We don't need none of that stuff. All right, that helped us out a little bit in the coal department. That was a pretty big deposit. Uh, I could have that as a little off the side storage room at some point if I wanted. What I want at the moment is to get to diamond level. Which should be two more. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, we are at diamond level. Sounds like surrounded on all sides by lava, but... <laughs> I like the coal. Okay, we know that direction, which is south we absolutely know that that is a ravine okay what was it i was saying about probably needing some copper in order to just you know make a spyglass all right so we're going to go ahead and take that now i could argue with it Okay. Oh, and there's coal underneath it. Well, I'm certainly not going to turn that down. All right, I'll get back with you after I've mined this all out. Okay. So. Probably going to have to... Well, no, I should just make a... Just make a crafting table. I should honestly save that for in case I do find diamonds. I 
And we should stick with stone for now, because I don't really have enough iron to just willy-nilly mine with iron from the get-go. It's just not, not a good plan. I did get a bunch of amethyst, though. And I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Oh, it's so much slower, though. That's as far as I'm going to go that way. I don't need to go towards that ravine that badly. Just kind of making this a central hub for the mine at the moment. All right, that was a, another heck of a coal pocket there. Almost another stack. Moving on. So that way is directly to the ravine. So we're going to go over here. We're going to head straight north. And we're going to see what we find. Creeper, 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 creepers! Whew. Okay. Still heading towards a ravine. Ugh. God, I only have four arrows. Alright, that's one dead. Ah. Alright, well, I didn't die take that <laughs> I will take that uh, yeah okay enough out of you all right random cave spawning monsters at me Did you see how fast those creepers came over and attacked me though well I'm glad I brought the bow even if I don't have any more arrows it was definitely worth it to not die again. I hear skeletons. And bats. Yeah, it's still a ravine. Okay. That's enough for the ravine. I really don't need any more ravine. Okay, grab this coal, and I'm going to get back to strip mining, see if I can get away from this ravine and actually find some diamonds. So we're going to grab this stuff. Uh, I haven't gotten any redstone yet, so let's go ahead and grab some of that while we're at it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, I have some torches, Ryan. It's always a good plan. That is the one downfall of doing this with Optify, is, is I forget a lot of times to actually put torches in there. Get some of that in here. Okay. Light this place up like the 4th of July, because I'm tired of being killed. <laughs> I think it's, you know, mostly just the fact that I've kind of gotten away from playing smart, because I have been so used to, you know, god weapons and god armor and all that good stuff, so it's been, uh, it's been a while since I've had to take most mobs very seriously. So I've gotten a little bit lazy, I think. 
Of course, I never have been very good at getting away from creepers before they blow up. You know, I see it all the time in other people's videos that, you know, they go up, hit them once, run away, get them too far away, they won't blow up. I've never gotten that even once. Never once. All right. Get a little more redstone, hoping that there's some diamond behind it. You know, follow the ore. Sometimes it works. And sometimes it just absolutely doesn't, but that's okay, because I can use some redstone. Oh, I got almost a stack now. So that means that I can soon start some basic automated farming, just, you know, hey. Not much, but I'll take it. I will indeed take it. Okay, I got my coordinates written down. I really hopefully don't need them all that much. Hopefully I can find that other village should be right over there. But I am going to go over and harvest these and spread them out a little farther. There we go. Because now that I do have diamonds, I think I actually have exactly enough to make an iron pickaxe and a, an enchanting table, which is definitely going to be a goal of mine. Because I do need to get the obsidian in order to do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that village is right over here. I am going to harvest some more cows because I do need some more food. Okay. I'm not going to harvest all of them because I do want to be able to get them back later and breed them. Hey, there's my pillar. Okay. I'll take that with me too. Well, hopefully his trade hasn't changed and he still has the sword that I want. Wouldn't that be a bummer if it had timed out? Huh. Why are you guys all in? Yeah, get out of there. Why are you guys all in there? You guys are weird. Those are supposed to be planters. How odd. All right. Smite and fire aspect. Okay, so. Oh, you know what I did? I left my emeralds. Oh, iron for emerald? I'm sorry. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Uh, so 15. Yeah, I got to go back. I have to go back and get my emeralds and I forgot. All right, I'm going to go back and get them. I will come back after I've gotten the emeralds that I should have brought with me in the first place. All right, and we are back with emeralds in hand this time. So let's go over and see if we can find our gentleman again. There he is. Oh, no, that's the mason. Oh, here's my smith. Yes. All right. So we got smite two and fire aspect one. So, let's see. Okay, that's halfway, more than halfway to another one. Because I think what I will do is I will get an anvil and combine those two. And then I will have a smite three fire aspect two sword. I think that is going to be the plan 
And that's where I'm going to end this episode. So we managed to find diamonds. Uh, I managed to die a whole lot and prove that I still have a lot to learn about playing this game. And I uh, kind of got a plan going, I think. I think one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take over that abandoned village that's on the other side of the mountain there. And we're going to go from there. Well, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Okay, bye.